Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode 5 to 6. Whew. Let's go ahead and get started. Queen Margaret, the wife of King Leo III. Originally founded Rambolet Shelter to help the poor. However, as the treasures allocated to the Queen were but a drop in the ocean needed to help the countless poor across the kingdom. Many of the peasants who entered the shelter did not return alive. She seems even more fearful than I expected. <laughs> Malena. Huh? We'll be spending the next five days together. Just you and me. <laughs> I'm afraid my dear sister Isabella won't be here to protect you. What a shame. If only she had spoken up on your behalf when my mother ordered you to be whipped. You wouldn't be bearing those scars on your back right now. You poor thing. <laughs> I should head to where the rest of the peasants are. After all, the reasons why I brought Maletta here is to make sure that she'll be completely subservient to me. I'm the queen in this life. Episode 5. The girl was playing checkers in her last life, so this time she's going to play chess and she's going to make sure she wins. They ought to be around here somewhere. <laughs> this is where they keep the peasants. Who are closest to death. If I recall correctly, this is where she... Sister? <gasps> huh? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Maletta, do you see? See what? That little girl over there with red hair, just like yours. Uh, what, what do you mean? Why, your little sister, of course. If you don't do as I tell you, I'm going to leave you to rot here. Then you and your sister will be together again. So that you can wither away and die hand in hand. I, I don't know what you're talking about. It was all my, my fault, my lady. Please forgive me. She seems terrified enough to wet herself. However, Maletta. Surely you're not implying that I've been lying, are you? Huh. Answer me. Whoa. Bzz. I can only take one of you girls. Answer me. Which one of you is smarter and more hardworking? My lady, we were born and raised together since we were babies. I promise we'll work twice as hard. Please don't split us apart. T uh, of, cor of course, my lady. If you can only take one of us, then it should absolutely be me. What a selfish sister. Sancha is too frail to do any real work. And she's prone to, be to petty thievery to boot. I see you're an ambitious one. Fine, you'll be coming with me. I'll serve you with my life, my lady. Sister? Shh, stay quiet. Once I earn enough money, I'll come back to take you away from this place. We need at least one of us to make it so that we can both have a chance at a better life. All you have to do is be patient and wait. Melilla! My lady? Are you right, miss? You suddenly froze up like you seen a ghost. What did I just see? Was it just a hallucination or a vision of their past? Uh, I must see for myself. My lady! I have to find out what I saw. Maletta, is that really you? How do you feel? Pardon? 
I have something to ask you. Do you have an older sister who works for a wealthy household? Mm -mm. Did she tell you that one of you has to make it so that both of you can have a chance at a better life? H how did you know? The vision I had was the truth. I see. Thank you. Make sure you look after yourself. W wait! Please, don't leave. I'm begging you, miss. Let me speak to my sister once more. I haven't heard a word from her since she left here for work. All I want is to be able to speak to her. Do you mean to say that your sister never once contacted you after she left? That's right, my lady. It's the first I've seen her of her since. But I'm so happy that she finally came back to see me. And she never once offered her help? But pardon? I, I mean... Maletta, is it true that you don't know who this is? Um, well, that's right, my lady. I've never seen her before in my life. P please help. I'm begging you, my lady. Please. I need to get out of here. Please help me. Maletta. Please, please, miss. Go and bring the shelter manager. Oh my gosh. Two days later. What kind of sister does that? Like, okay, now that you are working for a rich household, you're going to abandon your sister? That's a wicked person. So forget Maletta. Uh, I'm starving. I would like you to give this girl more to eat. I'm afraid we cannot afford you any special treatment, my lady. Even if you are his eminence daughter. Fine, I understand. In that case, I will forego my meals for today and give them to her instead. I was only going to give her one day's worth of meals, but it's been three days already. And I still don't know what I saw that day. It seems to be a part of Maletta's memories. After that, I tried touching Maletta again, but nothing else happened. It seems there's more to this vision than simple physical contact. Hmm. I wonder where this power comes from. <sighs> Huh? Prince. Are you hungry? Prince Alfonso. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, uh. Prince. If you guys don't remember, but at the very first beginning of this this series, like the first episode, he was the one that's, you know, as you see here, he drank this poisonous tea given to him by her. Ariadne. She was the one who unalived him so Cesare, her lover, could be on the throne. Prince, are you hungry? Prince Alfonso, the man who died by my very hands. But <laughs> this is long before I committed my act of sin. Why, thank you. This is my opportunity for a new life. I'm the queen in this life, episode six. <sighs> I must admit, this is rather sudden. 
but this is an ideal moment to make the prince acquaintance. This is quite the feast after three days of fasting. I heard you've been giving away your meals to a sick girl here. Oh, it's hardly any trouble. What should I say to make a positive impression? I think that's really great of you. Oh, that's a great impression there. <laughs> you see, food is one thing I rarely give away. <laughs> Likewise. I only gave up my meals because the bread here is nigh in inedible. I'm sure I would have felt differently if it was delicious. Is the bread at the shelter so bad? There is no trace of milk nor butter, so the texture is coarse like hard tack. Not to mention it tastes raw of wheat and salt. <sighs> ah. I see. <laughs> There's no need to let him know that I'm aware of his true identity just yet. How long will you be staying at the shelter? Only until tomorrow. Are you going to keep giving her your meals until then? Um, to be truthful, I wasn't planning on it. But some kind gentleman gave me an apple. So I imagine I should last another day. He's so handsome. I wish I brought something that could serve as a meal. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer. Uh, I guess we've gotten closer than I thought. This is more than enough. Thank you again. I shall return to the shelter, but I bid you a good day. So soon. I'm afraid I can't have them catch me slacking. Good day to you. Goodbye. I don't know when this kind of opportunity might arise again, but I ought to leave it at that for now. I shall leave just when he's starting to get curious. Miss. The art is so beautiful. May I ask for your name? Oh. <laughs> it's Ariadne. Ariadne de Mer. Manor of Cardinal Dimmer. Oh my, who is that unsightly girl? I bought her here from the shelter mother. What? This is some kind of tasteless jest? Who are you to bring filthy vagrants into this household? You feigned remorse for your action, yet here you are, acting like an impudent child again, once again. Mother, please. I implore you to take a look at this. It is another of your needless schemes. Wait, wait. These initials. Could this belong to Prince Alfonso de Carlo? How do you have this? I knew Isabella would recognize it right away. I happened to meet his highness by chance at Rambulet. I imagine he was inspecting the shelter since Her Majesty the Queen personally oversees it. At first, my only intention was to nurse this child back to health. But His Highness had the gracious idea to entrust her to my care so that she could work for our household. He praised Father's deed and granted me his handkerchief as a token of his favor. And I felt that refusing such an honor would solely Father's good name. Not that any of this is true. And did he ha does his highness bid you insult to his eminence, noble wife? You must think me a fool to invite a peasant into this house without my permission. Turn her away at once. In fact, you ought to leave with her too. What a reckless woman. I can't let her drive such a Sancha away. Both of you, leave and never come back. Mother, I too shall inter myself at Rambolent's shelter. What? Isabella, that's no place for a proper lady. If it's the prince you wish to meet, there's a state mass over the tea parties. Fine, I shan't go to the shelter then. Instead, 
I insist you allow that vagrant child to stay, mother. What? If I were to meet the prince at the tea party, this would be the perfect story to appeal our family's benevolence. See? These are the links I must go to meet the prince. Since father refuses to introduce me to him in person. I'm glad Isabella's stupidity worked to my advantage for once. Now all I have to do is have Sancha work at the manor as a maid and eventually become my personal attendant. Uh, so I'll hold on that for you, dear sister. I appreciate your help. Uh, I see nothing has changed since my previous life. Nothing in my life is truly my own and can be taken away from me at on a whim. My lady, I'm entirely grateful for your help. I swear to you, I'll repay your kindness one day. Uh. Thank you, Sanja. A few days later, well, Mother, why do you suppose Her Majesty the Queen has suddenly invited us to the palace? Why, there could be no other reason than to see whether your beauty lives up to the rumor. <laughs> oh, stop it, Mother, and do you suppose that Prince would be there? I'm deciding whether to take his handkerchief or not. In my previous life, those two were never invited to the palace. Lady Lucrezia bid you to dress to leave the manor. The palace sent a carriage for you, my lady. You've been asked to attend a royal audience. Isn't that wonderful? You were invited by name. I was? Then this would mean I'll be visiting the palace with Lucrezia and Isabella. <laughs> Sancha, would you care... To try on my outfit? For fun, of course. To be continued. Odd. Why does she ask... Is the outfit poison? And why would she ask uh, Sandra to try it on first? Well, yeah, I think they did something to the outfit to make sure that she doesn't go to the palace. Hmm. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!